Let's try solving this double inequality. It's tricky for some students because of the three parts, but we're going to treat it like an equation. For example, if you were just looking at this pair of expressions and you were trying to get x by itself, you might want to get rid of the x's first, which is usually what we do. The same is going to apply for a double inequality. These other x's here are troubling for us. Let's get rid of them. How do we do that? Subtracting x from all the parts. We can do that if we apply the same operation to all three parts. And that actually turns out to be really good. x minus x just leaves 0 minus 2. 3x take away x is 2x plus 4. And x minus x leaves 0 again and 14. So now we have a nice simple double inequality to work with. How do we solve the rest of it? Well, now that we've got the x's off the two sides of the double inequality, we can start solving this inside down to x. And to do that, we first take away the 4 on all three parts. Negative 2 minus 4 is negative 6. Plus 4 minus 4 just leaves 0. And 14 minus 4 is 10. And so our last step is just to divide by the coefficient of x, in this case 2. But we must do that equally to all three parts. And we get negative 3 is less than or equal to x, which is less than or equal to 5. That's our solution. And if we were to draw it on a number line, we put 0 here. A ruler probably would have been better for this. Making the little ticks, labeling at least every second one. And what we have is x is at least negative 3 or equal to it, but it's at most positive 5. And then we just shade in to indicate to the reader or the marker that it's anything up to and including between both those numbers. Finally, label the number line x.